will be on the vlog.
But with you, I would always stay the same. You let me down and left its mark. But now I'm finally crawling out of the dark. I'm crawling out of the that you are well oh my god i just got back from uni nothing new so you might be wondering where i've been i haven't been posting any videos lately not lately for the past like three months but to be honest i've just been busy all throughout summer holiday my extended family visited and some things were going on at home and i just didn't feel like making videos so it's not like that I was having fun, like literally this week that you've just witnessed, it was the week where I most like went out and it was mostly food for honestly, like restaurants and I really wanted to go to more museums but I ended up going to only one, but one is like better than nothing. Anyway, you don't really care about that. There is nothing going to be like a huge change to the channel. Mostly what I want to be doing from now on is making my videos shorter because I literally I can't keep editing like 30 minutes videos or 40 minutes. And uh, so from now on, I want them all to be maximum 15 minutes. I think that's good for everyone. And the second thing is I don't want to I want to I want to the second thing is I want to mainly create vlogs and the wrap-ups or like recommendations will be incorporated in the vlogs like you'll see you'll see how it is but i just want like daily vlogs like that's the thing i want to be focusing focusing on but uh so yeah let me tell you about so these are like the updates like that's the only thing maybe there's a little bit update over there but that's just a very slow update so yeah these are like the only updates uh that's what's been going on with me please tell me what's been going on with you i really miss you i actually miss creating videos and uh, what i want to be focusing on on the new vlogs is i want to go back to making like aesthetic content make the videos properly so i've read some manga uh lately and i've read some books but we'll talk about books later on for the manga uh or the manhua so let's talk about what i actually finished i didn't finish much but i still finished a bunch so let's talk about them the number one thing that i finished was painter of the night season three as you all know, like I've been reading this since season one and it is one of those very screwed up toxic manhua that you shouldn't pick up if you're easily triggered. If you're not easily triggered, do pick it up because it's still one of my favorite arts of any manhua I've ever read uh, or uh, exists. Uh, the third season was incredible. I think it was my favorite. It was the most suspenseful, suspenseful and also the most tender and I really, really love that. I read Blood on the Tracks, reread Blood on the Tracks Volume 1 and read Volume 2 as well. The ending of Volume 2, I still think about it and this was ages ago, this was like three months ago and I still think about it, it was it's just a slap to the face. Uh, Blood on the Tracks is a horror manga by Shizu Oshimi, the same mangaka as uh, Happiness and this uh, manga is a horror manga about the relationship between a, w a mother and her son and it's very screwed up because it's very realistic like it's terrifying because it's realistic uh next i finished blue flag volumes one to seven there is a whole vlog that i filmed for that where i actually without spoiling reviewed volume by volume uh so please go watch that if you want but in general i loved blue flag it's one of my favorite summer reads it's perfect to read for summer and yeah, I really liked it. It was wholesome, but also 
heart wrenching next i read black or white volume 3 and i'm really thinking of dropping this it feels like the mangaka is dangling the story right in front of our eyes but not wanting to go in like i need more i need more story i need more from the characters i want more content like i need more because it feels like the first volume was nice okay i, I really liked it it was a nice introduction second and third volume are really unforgettable like uh i don't know i i, I hate it and of course she goes being a creep as usual uh, I read Dag Dark Volume 4. As you know, Kyo Hayashida is one of my favorite mangaka. Dag Dark is incredible. Gave it five, uh, five stars, like this volume. Uh, and it was just really fun. Dag Dark talks about uh, this dystopian universe where people actually live in space. And our main character, the 14 year old boy whose bones grant wishes, and so he is being hunted by everyone in the galaxy. Then I read Dekoboko Better Sweet Days, and this is the sequel to Dekoboko Sugar or something. Dekoboko Sweet? I don't remember the name. But anyway, actually, I like this so much more than the first volume. This felt more mature. The characters felt like they grew a little bit. This one talks about like their last year of high school and they're trying our main couple, you know, they're still dating like in this last in this volume as well and they want to they're focusing more on their careers on their daily lives on it focuses more on what they want to do with their lives and how they're thinking and how they're trying to maintain this relationship i love the communication between them and i i really liked it it felt really um for once like a mature read <laughs> a mature be and read then i read play it cool guys volume one this is not something that you read like continuously like you can't just pick the f the whole five volumes that are released i believe and just watch it and just read it you will feel bored this talks about four guys who are really cool looking but they're really clumsy it's just exactly that it's daily life there's some queer baiting here and there there is an ongoing anime right now and i'm watching it it's, the episode is only 10 minutes it's perfect to watch while in eating breakfast or in a rush um i liked it it's cute i love the aestheticism of it more than um like uh, what is going on uh but they're just clumsy you know and everyone can be clumsy but in japan that's just i feel like something that cannot happen uh then i read my favorite read of the year which is uh this is a huge omnibus talking about the history it's a short story collection each story will handle the mythology of a witch in certain culture or society or certain year and it's so exquisitely done like i was out like i was bamboozled like this thing like this it was so gorgeous so beautiful and I really, really loved it. I really adored it. Some stories are still stuck in my mind. And you know, witches have these, they are these human or creatures that have been mentioned throughout history in all civilizations and all cultures. And I really loved how the manga can took from these cultures and added some to it. And one of the stories is takes place in Istanbul here where I live. And I just, not that I felt relatable, but I could recognize the, uh, essence of the city, uh, the city Istanbul in the story. Then I read Chainsaw Man Part 1, Volumes 1 to 11. 5 out of 5 stars. To be honest, like I went into this knowing that it might be odd, oh, it's gonna be shown in with a little bit of gore, and it's not, it's not. It's incredible. I love the layering. Fujimoto is a genius, and when you read it, you do need to pay attention. There's a lot of parallels and layering that I still am figuring out right now on Twitter. This is a trigger warning for abuse and manipulation and gore, like a lot of gore but i really loved it like it's incredible one of my favorite mangas of this year and when i read first uh when i read uh, uh, chainsaw man like the when the first volume was released i remember it was my favorite of that year <laughs> it was released in and uh, i'm watching the anime right now and mappa did an incredible job like i'm so in love and yeah then i read kind of the worst manga i've read recently and it's case heaven i could only read volume one and two i am in a volume three and i'm in a slump because of this manga so this is one of these very toxic terrible mangas bl um and yeah uh, it's like i keep reading it because 
I'm interested. Like when I pick it up, okay, I will read it. But the moment I put it down, I don't even want to look at it, which is what happened with volume three because I'm still stuck in volume three. So this talks about um, uh, this very terrible school where there is uh, some, can, some kind of uh, hierarchy in the school based on playing cards. Each beginning of the semester, there's this committee who hides cards, the playing cards, you know, around the school. And then each class will go and look for their card. And according to their cards, they are considered, uh, they're put into places in this hierarchy. And our main character has always been a king, but his friend, who's supposed to be like his right hand, kind of cheated him some way or betrayed him. And he ends up being the Joker, which is the outcast or someone who everyone is allowed to bully and our main character our other main character ends up like raping uh him in the first chapter after taking the king card from him and later on there's this very weird power struggle between them slash revenge slash them falling in love with each other in a very devastating way there are also other couples but all the couples share one thing it is an obsessive kind of love that is not healthy and terrible 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 and yeah this is not for everyone it's very mature it's very toxic it's very triggering uh, next and the last thing that i read for manga was links this is by the same mangaka as given and i thought there would be some characters from given in this short story collection but there wasn't it follows a new set of characters some might look like the characters in given uh i think that mangaka did that on purpose uh but all the new characters have different stories and all of the people like they have different stories but they're all connected and at the end it will all make sense and i loved it i really loved it the stories were so interesting for because it's a short story collection you know you're not supposed to be build up that tight relationship with the characters but i i love them i i yeah i could feel for them and i really liked it the art is still as, as exquisite as ever and yeah, and now the video I just filmed for 10 minutes and now we have a 20 minutes video, but I'm gonna try and make it shorter. Maybe this will be the only one because I have so many mangas to wrap up. This is the update. These are the mangas that I read recently. Please tell me down below, what have you been reading? I do need recommendations. Like I've been actually like out of it because of Case Heaven. Uh, I've just not been feeling the, I don't want to pick anything, you know, but if you tell me to read something like that was really interesting, I will pick it up. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video as usual. Bye bye. Because you played this game a couple of times. You took it all while you stole my life. You blamed it on the alcohol, but that was just like you not controlling your mood.